hi there today more about disappearance of self in the process of enlightenment becoming ethereal without substance more and more gradually as we are sinking deeper and deeper into pure existence away from thinking away from mental concepts When the baby is born, and in the early stages of their life, everything is just a blur. There are no distinctions, no differentiation between me and you and them and he and they, no space, no time. Slowly, we're developing and learning mental concepts, stacking up mental concepts, mental images. This idea of self, I or me, that is different than everything else, is created. And then throughout the life, mental images, ideas are added to it and it's growing bigger and bigger and bigger and more and more complex. This self, I or me. But after we start practicing disengagement from the thoughts, no thinking, and slowly enter the process of enlightenment, this concept of I, self, is slowly disintegrating, slowly disappearing. This package of mental images starts unpacking, unraveling gradually more and more. And after a while, there is no self anymore. There is nothing to hold on. There is nothing to grab. There is just nothing inside the nothingness in self with the light and knowing inside the pure existence, no self. And because there is no self, no mental concepts involved, there can be no pain, no negativity, no suffering. As long as we're still attached to the human body, we of course still feel the physical pain of that human body, but all other pains, so-called psychological, emotional, mental pains are gone. There is no more self, there is no more I, no more me, no more engaging with the mental concepts. The self is disappearing. Nothing inside nothingness and a light. Shining brighter and brighter. It's all substance-less, no substance, freedom of substance being suspended completely in this limitless, empty space of pure existence. Once we start spending time there and then more time there, being so comfortable, so blissful, getting to understand more and more of how all the different levels of existence come to be through the activity of pure existence. We get more and more insights. We get to roam or stream all different levels of existence not just the human existence, and we understand everything. And this understanding brings complete freedom and clarity and a blissful sort of a state of being beyond words, beyond mental concepts. And you see, once we start spending more and more time there, 
we need more and more of an effort to set up, to sort of gather all these mental images and put together when we interact with the outside world on a human level. Because staying in the realm of pure existence beyond mental concepts, it's, it's a natural, our natural way of being. That's why it's so comfortable. That's why it's, it has such a huge pull. More and more and more, deeper you go in this process of enlightenment, more yourself in, completely disintegrates. More and more comfortable it's all becoming. The bigger and bigger the pool, the stronger the pool of pure existence, of disintegration, of disappearance, of self completely. And it takes more and more of a bit of an effort, as I said before, to get, a, to get a, all these different mental images and ideas to put together some sort of a front of a self when, when interacting with the world around us, which has mostly very different ideas about life and what life is and so on and so on. So it takes a bit of doing more and more as we're becoming more and more comfortable and settled inside the pure existence. You can actually see it sometimes. I do yoga daily, as I mentioned a few times in my videos, because um, yoga actually puts focus on breathing and and taking attention from the outside towards inside. It's not a spiritual practice in itself, but it actually helps with spiritual practice. It helps with practicing um, detachment from thoughts and no thinking, reuniting, gradually reuni reunite. Reunion with the pure existence for the process of enlightenment. So anyway, to cut it short, I used to watch a lot of these videos and follow along of a guy who actually even wasn't a guy from subcontinent, but a guy from one of these so-called developed countries. And he was a yoga instructor for decades, and he was sort of turning more and more inwards as a result of of this yoga practice. Not intentionally, maybe, but just, you know, putting focus on breathing, turning inwards more and more, sinking deeper and deeper into this pure existence. And after a few years, I saw one of his recent videos and he was, he became completely ethereal. You could even see it on the video, like there was almost nothing there. He was just hanging around the body, hanging around this form of a human body. And his features have sort of almost melted completely into this completely benign, almost featureless, sort of a shiny spot where the face is. I was just amazing. It was one of the most beautiful sights. So anyway, this is really what awaits all of us as we sing gradually more and more into pure existence through practice. Practice, consistence, consistence, persistence, and gathering more and more understanding and insights. There are, of course, parts of the world where spiritual practice and spiritual traditions are much more rooted, deeply rooted, and part of a culture, even culture, of the people who live there than in so-called developed world where everyone is always busy, mentally engaged all the time, night and day almost 24-7, which is all an obstacle to actually turning inwards, staying still, inside and outside. Anyway, enough for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.